Hello and welcome to another video. This is the Halu Smartwatch 2 or LSO2. It's a simple smartwatch with activity tracking, heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking and so on. The box is of typical Halu style with a nice picture on the front and some specifications on the back. I have tried many Halu products before, but only wireless earphones and the quality has been quite good at a budget price. So it will be interesting to see how their watches will do. In the box we get the watch itself, a user manual and a charging cable. This is the magnetic type and it's the same as we get with many other budget watches. The user manual is quite simple but it covers the basic needs to set it up and how to navigate through the menus. Anyway, it's not a complicated watch so it's easy to figure out even without using the manual. The watch has a rectangle shape and it looks quite nice, especially for such a low price. On the back we have the sensors and the magnetic connector for charging. Usually the stickers that are attached to the screen are much brighter than the actual display. But on this watch it's pretty close to what we see here. This is a plastic watch, so it doesn't have a high premium feel to it, but I think it looks quite good. I'll add the measurements on top of the screen so you can get an idea of the size. It's also a very light watch, and at only 38 grams I hardly notice wearing it at all. Regarding sensors, we have the accelerometer for counting steps and the dynamic optical sensor for measuring heart rate. On the right side is a push button, which is mostly used to turn on the display, but it also works as a back button. The bands are made of silicone and look nice enough. They're flexible and comfortable to wear, and they have quick release pins to easily take them off if needed. The watch itself is rated IP68, so you can use it in the shower or even swim with it if you want to. The magnetic charger does what it's supposed to, and we can see the charging progress on the screen. It's also strong enough to hold the weight of the watch, but not if you shake it a bit. Regarding battery life, it can last up to 20 days if you turn off most of the functions, like the heart rate monitoring, notifications and so on. In my tests I had everything on the whole time and a screen at 75% brightness. It lasted me 7 days, so it's not the best, but it's still quite good. Setting up the watch is very easy. Just turn on the power and scan the QR code on the screen. On my Android phone, this sends me directly to the Halo app in Google Play. Just install it and set up the Halo account. When that's done, tap the icon in the bottom right corner and tap add device. The watch should pop up by itself, so all you need to do is select it and accept the pairing on the watch by clicking the red button. That's all, we can now start using the watch. It's not a big watch, so it sits nicely on the wrist and the bands are comfortable. The display will automatically switch on when you turn the wrist and it's got a 1.4 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 320 pixels. It looks very good, it's bright and has good black levels. It's also got Bluetooth 5, so I haven't had any problems with the connection at all. I took out the Amazfit GTR just to quickly compare the size and as you can see the Halo LS02 is quite compact. On the main screen we have all the necessary info like time, day, date, weather, heart rate, calories, steps and distance. If you don't like this watch face you can change it by holding on the screen. Here's an analog one with the activity data in the corners and each color around the circle is a graphic view of the corresponding data. Next is a digital one that shows a bit less information. This one is both digital and analog, but only shows time, date and day. I'm not really a fan of round watch faces on a watch that's not round, but I guess we all have different tastes, so here's something for most of us. Swiping down we have the quick toggles, and here we can adjust the screen's brightness if needed. We have the ND mode, and the gear takes us to the settings. First we have watch faces again, so they can be changed in here as well. We already saw the brightness, but below it we have some software information and the MAC address. At last we have the power off and reset functions. Swiping from the left we have the breathing exercise, and we can choose between 1 or 2 minutes. This works the same way as on other watches, with an animation and text telling us when to breathe in and out. A good little guide for relaxing and breathing. The weather display is nice to have, and it shows us the current weather and for the next 3 days at the bottom. There's no detailed view of the day, so this is all we get. Here's the sleep results for the previous day, and here's the heart rate monitoring. It shows us the last reading and the highest and lowest value of the day. 
Swiping up from here, we can see the readings throughout the current day. We have calories, steps and distance. To open the main menu, we swipe up. This is where all the main functions are located, in a scrollable menu. It's definitely not the most fluent menu I've seen, as it's quite laggy. I found it to be easier if I just hold the finger on the screen while scrolling and stop where I want to be. The first item in the menu is the same activity screen we saw earlier. Next is heart rate, which again is the same as we saw before. In sports we have all the different activities we can start. There's jogging, fast walking, biking, climbing, spinning, yoga, indoor running, integrated training, gymnastics, basketball, football and rowing. When starting an activity, we first get a 3 second countdown timer, so we can get ready. In the activity we can see time spent, heart rate, distance and tapping will show pace, steps and calories. We don't get any more information about the activity, so all we can do from here is pause it or finish it. Next is weather and it's the same as we saw before. Sleep monitoring shows us a simple view of the night's deep sleep, light sleep and total sleep. The notification list is empty at the moment, but let's try a text message and see what it looks like. It pops up like this, but we can also see it in the list at a later time. They look ok, but it's not possible to scroll down to see the whole message, so if you get longer messages, you will have to read them on the phone, which is a bit annoying. It should be possible to read the whole message without taking out the phone. We also get incoming call notifications, but the only option we have is to reject the call. Sadly, it's not possible to mute the call. Music setting isn't really a setting at all, it's just a simple remote, but it works well. It's fast, so there's hardly any delay at all when clicking the buttons to pause, play or switch songs. The only downside here is that the song title is not displayed on the watch. So if you're searching for a specific song, you'll have to play the beginning of each song until you find the one you're after. In the more section we first find a stopwatch. There's no lap functions or anything else here, so all we can do is start, stop and reset it. The countdown function has a few presets or we can set it manually by pressing the plus icon. Next is find phone and under it is the same breathe training that we saw before. In settings we have all the same functions as we saw in the quick toggles. Actually most of the items in the main menu are available through the quick toggles or by swiping left or right on the watch face. So it's not really necessary to go into this menu very often. Since this watch doesn't have a GPS, the data we get from it is quite limited. Anyway, the app is easy to use and looks well made. From the top we have our steps, sports activities, heart rate, sleep data and at the bottom is the weight. There's also a more detailed view of the steps, time spent, distance and calories. In sports we have our activities with a total on top and we can open them to get some more info. We have distance, steps, total time, average heart rate and so on. The heart rate is also shown as a graph here and below are some heart rate zone info. The all day heart rate monitoring works well and we get a nice graph showing the data throughout the day. Below are some more info and some heart rate zones. I used to watch both day and night and I found the sleep data to be quite accurate. We have a nice graph at the top, showing awake time, light and deep sleep. It also shows us when we fell asleep and when we woke up. The weight function is where you enter your weight and height. And I guess this data is used to calculate the activities more precisely. In sport, we can start activities from the phone if needed. I guess this is useful if you forget the watch or the battery is empty. And at last we have the device settings. Here we can see the remaining battery, which after 7 days of use is at 12%. Here we can activate or deactivate call notification. The alarm is set here as it's not possible to do it from the watch. There's no speaker on the watch so we only get vibration alarms. But it's quite good so I didn't have any problems waking up in the morning and I used it every day. Stand up notice will alert you if you sit too long without moving. Works as a motivation for moving a bit more than usual. If you want notifications only from some specific apps you can select them here. DND mode can be set manually, which is very good. It's not always fun to get notifications in the middle of the night, so all watches should have this function. If you want to save some battery, it is possible to switch off the heart rate monitor here. It can still be measured manually though. 
The time format can be changed between 12 and 24 hours for those who need to change it. If you don't like that the display switches on automatically when you raise the wrist, it can be switched off here. All in all, this is a lightweight and nice looking watch. A full charge gave me one full week of usage with everything switched on and always connected by Bluetooth. The display is bright with good resolution, so it looks more expensive than it is. It is a simple watch without GPS, so the tracking data we get is a bit limited, but at least it's nicely presented in the app. The silicone straps are okay, but they do collect some dust. It's easy to clean off, but dirty bands don't look good. The menu we get when swiping up is a bit too laggy, which makes it a bit difficult to navigate in the main menu. If it was smoother, it would give a much better impression of the watch. Anyway, it's a nice looking watch with a vibrant and good looking display, and I have enjoyed using it. And that's it for my review, please comment, subscribe and click that bell below the video for more. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.